Yeah, it's cold, isn't it? I'm at the craft in Sandy, just or Sandy, I think they pronounce it here. Just having a look around. Um, so this is like an original craft where people used to live. Um, it's tiny. <laughs> look, I'm tiny, and my head just barely fits in the doorway. And you can literally just walk in here. It's unattended. And that's literally like the level of trust people have on this island and in the Orkneys. There's such a, a sense of community here. This is nice. I could live here. Very cosy. I've arrived at the Bay of Newark on Sandy, which is pronounced Sandy and not Sandy. <laughs> I've never seen such white sand and blue sea before. I had no idea you got this in Scotland. Maybe in the in the Hebrides, but not here. Apparently over these dunes is a way to get back into um, Kata Sands. Just looking for that now. Uh, I've been advised not to walk out into the bay at the other side because of the tides, of course. So I'm gonna try and find um, I'll wait to get up on the dunes and see if I can get some good views. Here comes my water taxi. <laughs> so the Kettle Toft Hotel was lovely. Uh, we had dinner there, tea there, a few drinks there, and the owner actually gave me a lift. So I could go into the visitor centre and visit a craft um, and I could also walk to um, Calasans and Newark Bay which was just absolutely stunning uh, with blue seas and white sands and, and it was overcast and it was still absolutely beautiful. Um, we also met the owner's son. So he advised us on our passage from Sandy back to Wick which we did yesterday. So what we did is we left um, we left an hour before low tide and then we headed out about three nautical miles and literally it just had a straight run all the way back down to Wick which was there and the tide was with us all the way and we also avoided all the this the sandbank which you don't want to get stuck on that um, apparently a lot of boats have run aground on that and it really comes out quite far so you've got to you've got to give that a wide berth um and also the tidal race coming through there as well so we avoided all that and just had a nice straight run down um i didn't film any of it because we had no wind again and i've got to be back at work and pick my dog up so i don't have the luxury of waiting for wind which is really um frustrating but what can you do so, um, but I did see a wheel and I got some shots of that on my phone, which was just incredible. I think it was a, a blue, no, a bottlenose, northern bottlenose wheel. Um, but if anyone can tell what it is, like drop me a comment and let me know. And um, yeah, we just had a straight run back. It was quite big swells, but no wind, um, which was made for quite a uncomfortable passage we couldn't make a cup of tea or snacks or anything or use the cooker because without the sails up um, we couldn't steady the yacht and we were kind of getting thrown about all over the place but we just took it in turn and watches um, and the time passed really quick and it was a 12 hour run. Um, the biggest highlight for me on our passage from Sandy back to Wick was that um, I actually brought the boat into 
the harbour. Um, I'm a day skipper, we only literally got three attempts each to do it because of the, the restrictions at the time and we couldn't stay on the boat. Um, so it's something that I'm really, really not confident with at all. Um, I've had a go a couple of times with someone, like when I've crewed at the yacht club, with someone talking me through it. But it's still something that's really terrified me. So um, we bit the bullet yesterday and uh, had me dad on doing the ropes and the fenders and I brought the board in, um, which um, I've got the angle spot on. Uh, the speed coming in was brilliant, um, got right onto the pontoon, um, but when it come to um, putting the board into reverse, um, just to, 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 to put the brake on basically, I, um, I, put it in, I put it into neutral then reverse, and then the, the, the lever to put the revs on, I, I pulled it back towards me instead of forward for some reason um, and I was pulling it back and I'm like I can't get any revs on it's not working so um, dad just took over and I hopped off and just tied on the midships but other than that I was really pleased with what I did and I did that with minimal guidance as well um, it just felt I felt like I knew what I was doing so that's that's a huge deal for me and I'm really happy about that because I mean you can do all the sailing you want but if you can't bring your board in and out of the marina or the harbour or on and off a pontoon. <laughs> you can't really go anywhere, can you? Getting the boat ready now to leave in Wick for a while because um, um, so I've got to be back so Dad's going to come back on the train with me and go home and see his wife. Um, just putting the cockpit cover on um, because from tomorrow there's going to be a huge blow coming in. Um, we've had to put extra lines on just to make sure it's, we need one still on the midships before we go the back secured as well and the cockpit canopy has just gone on um, so it's all kind of tucked in and um, yeah ready to go oh, so sunny <laughs> very unusual for Scotland um, so we hope that you've enjoyed coming with us on our adventure from Amble to the Orkneys um, I've really enjoyed it <laughs> been such a learning experience. Uh, been very unlucky with the wind. Um, we went from getting absolutely hammered to just having to see like glass and nothing, like literally nothing. Um, although we, we did get a bit more sailing done. This is not a fast yacht at all. It's very heavy, very wide on the beam actually and on the stern as well. So you need you need a lot of wind for it to actually go to its cruising speed which is like six knots um, and again we were I could literally only get two weeks off work and because I'm studying part time as well so we just had to work with what we had basically um, and it really helped me with my learning um, I've got a lot more confidence now I feel like I know what I'm doing we left it really late in the season to come up to Scotland and the Orkneys very late in the season but um but it's been amazing and I've learned so much so thank you for watching and I look forward to reading your comments <coughs> just drooling over this westerly what a yacht that is